over just wrote in here um, I'm going to talk to you about this power meter that I, I purchased on eBay um, a couple of bucks I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks or something it's model P06S-100 um, what I'm going to be using this for is for my generator to monitor the legs on the generator basically um, when I see the legs on the generator I'm going to be monitoring the 120 120 output to give me 240 each leg independently I'm going to monitor the power consumption the frequency and uh, the volts that's been coming out just in case the generator is malfunctioning it doesn't damage any of my electrical equipment uh, in the house all my electronics could be damaged if the voltages are off or the frequency are off so each leg should have at 60 Hertz and at least from you know 120 volts plus or minus a few volts basically what I'm going to be doing here is uh, rigging up a testing unit this is an electrical wire an extension cord that I cut and what I did initially is uh, to test this uh, this power meter what I did was I got an elect an extension cord and I traced out my hot line and my neutral line and my hot line is the narrow uh, plug so I traced that out down to the end all the way out and basically what I did was I put an orange mark on two sides of it which would be here this way when I wire this up I know which way to connect my coil so what I'm doing right now is in this meter right here is that uh, I have um, my wire connected in and you can see there's numbering one two three four and one and two goes to the coil the coil has an arrow for the direction of the load where you're going to be plugging in your your unit the, it's the current flow that's the direction the current is going to be flowing and consuming three and four will be connected to a power source to give this unit power to do give you the reading so what I've gotten here is uh, an old thermostat wire a piece of thermostat wire which I splice and cut so I'm going to be wiring this up to this extension cord so once I wired into the extension cord together with the coil we can do the test so I've got my hot lead this is the lead that carry my current together with my hot and together with the other half of the cord that I cut this part now this needs to go into around your hot lead so you want to point the arrow towards the load the direction the current is flowing so you want to slip that over in that direction I'm getting a wire nut I'm going to wire this together
and so that you know the reason I'm pre-testing this is because it's from China and it takes about six weeks that's one two the unit itself doesn't have much English on it it's all in Chinese and it states that it's 50 Hertz versus 60 so I needed to confirm that this is actually reading 60 Hertz so now that I've got my unit wire nut together with my electrical source I'm using this hair dryer as my tester so I'm gonna plug that in and see what I get out of this unit So as I activate this dryer, look at my power meter. That we have low speed. You can see the watts that we can consume, your amp draw, your kilowatt hours, frequency, power factor, voltage. Very high speed. No heater. Then we're off. There's a button here that you can use to set. It illuminates the unit itself and it also sets alarm. So if you have an alarm for a certain uh, amount of watts, you need to know if you exceed that watts. You need you can set that alarm and it will trigger. I don't think it's an audible alarm. It's probably a flashing alarm. Um, there you can see you can adjust it for how many watts you need to trigger so whenever it exceeds the watts it'll audio out or it'll flash out um, I guess with that with this one button you can try to navigate your way through the rest of the function but it's not too much function it's just a measuring device a visual measuring device so if you like this video like subscribe share um, it's a very simple test to test the unit so I've got this to hook up on my generator until next time have a good one